Ray Stebbins here at Great American RV. Today we have our camper showdown showing two great campers on one video. Like and subscribe below and we're going to get started right now. So the two campers we're doing in the showdown today are the Venture Sport Trek 281 VBH versus the Grand Design Imagine 2800 BH. There's a few things on the outside that make them different, but there's a few things that are almost dead identical. They're the same length, 28 foot box, double axle. Both have manual stabilizers. Both have spare tires. Both of them have two ACs and are 50 amp units, which means in our wonderfully cool summers here in South Louisiana, you won't burn up. The Imagine, 11 foot, one inch. Sport Trek, 11 foot, four inches tall. And that is to the top of the ACs. So if you're putting this under cover, you're talking a three inch difference here. Not really that big of a deal. Both have six gallon gas electric water heaters. They can go up to 17.6 gallons when you're using both. Both have outdoor kitchens with burners, with refrigerators. One has a sink that is a dump sink. The other has a quick connect spray hookup for water in the back. Very, very similar on the outside. Both have the solid steps with big handles. So here, it's an even toss up. Really and truly, no clear winner on this point. Let's take a look inside and we'll start seeing where some of the bigger differences come in. Here we are in the Sport Trek 281, front bedroom, queen bed, real queen, 60 by 80. Nice big opening with pocket doors on each side. Nice entryway. Good aesthetics, front window. Let's go see what the Imagine has. Here we are in the Imagine 2800. You just looked at the bedroom over in the 281 Sport Trek. Queen bed, once again. Nice decor. Very, very similar. One pocket door, but it is a large one. You can move around the bedroom very easily. Now, let's go back to the Sport Trek and check out the next feature. Let's take a look at the kitchen. You have your regular booth dinette, seat four comfortably. You do have your kitchen with oven, stove, microwave, some pantry storage, which is right here. You also have coat rack right here. Nice big farm sink, 10 cubic foot refrigerator. Let's go take a look at the Imagine. Here's the kitchen for the Imagine. A little bit more storage. You have a little bit more counter space because they give you this fold up add-on. It is a U-shaped dinette versus the booth dinette and the table is not solid mounted. So if you need to shift the table more to one side than the other, you can. Also the back is a removable ottoman. So if somebody wants to sit out here on that, you do have that option. Let's go check out the living room in the Sport Trek. The living room area, going to be very similar in both. This is the Sport Trek again. We're looking at the dual recliners with heat and massage. You do have power outlet there. Everything is straight across from the television. You do have fireplace, radio with Bluetooth capabilities, a little more storage. There's actually a little bit of hidden storage behind the television. So you got a little bit more pantry storage there, whatever you want to use it for. Let's go see what the Imagine has. All right. Back in the Imagine, this is the living room. Do have your dual recliners, heat massage on these, USB chargers, just like the Sport Trek. Really, no clear winner there. Both have the same things. TV is straight across. Biggest difference, there is no fireplace in the Imagine like there is in the Sport Trek. You have more storage. Key. Let's go check out the bunks. Back in the bunks, both are going to be roughly the same size. It is a double bunk. You do have lights on each bunk here in the Sport Trek, and you do have USB chargers on both bunks. So the kids can sit there and stay up late and play on their phones while you don't know about it. Let's go see what the Imagine has. So here's your bunks in the Imagine. 
a little bit more rounded, uh, not quite as cut off as the Sport Track. Still have the ability to fold up to put larger items in storage while you're moving. Does have lights, USB, and a plug on each bunk. So, only real difference here, it's a little more open. So, here's the bathroom on the Sport Track. Do have porcelain toilet, you have a 24 by 40 shower, stainless sink cabinet, medicine cabinet, vent fan, pretty good. Let's go check and see what the Imagine has. Here we are in the bathroom of the Imagine. Porcelain toilet, 30 by 36 shower, linen storage on the side, couple of more cabinets here in the bottom, and your medicine cabinet, uh, good size sink, there's your bathrooms. Let's take a look at the overview for all the extras. Couple of final things here on the Sport Trek before we rein in and see exactly which one works best for you. Sport Trek does have a built in solar panel, 165 watt. Will keep the refrigerator running and the battery charged up for several days. That's built in. It also has the Pro Level, which is a little thing you can Bluetooth to your phone. So when you're sitting up, it can help you make sure you get your camper pretty level. You do have the PVC roof with a 20-year warranty on the Sport Track and a walkable roof. Let's see what the Imagine has. So the Imagine is a little bit different. One thing about Grand Design, no heat vents in the floor. You won't step on them, sweep garbage in them, mop water into them. This is a one-inch thick marine grade floor, 25-year warranty. This is a TPO roof with an 18-year warranty. It is walkable just like the Sport Track. This one has the Compass Connect built in, which gives you real-time diagnostic to your phone. It allows you to see your tire monitors. It allows you to turn lights on and off and also put slides in and out. A few extra features there. Folks, thanks for giving me a few minutes of your time. Remember, you're never going to find everything you want in one camper. But if you find most of what you want, that's your clear winner right there. I'm Ray Stebbins. This is Great American RV Superstores here in Hammond, Louisiana. And remember, Go out, make memories one weekend at a time.